Time to decide who will meet Brisbane Athletic in next weekend's Viva Brisbane Capital League 3 Grand Final. First, it's the preliminary Grand Final from Kinsellas. And the match between the two North Side teams in the Lakes and Rich Hills. The Lakes were comfortable winners first time round in the regular season 5-0 for Rich Hills. Pulled it back but still suffered a 1-0 defeat to the Lakes. Max Crane has the whistle for this match. Lakes in there. Red strip this afternoon. It's McNeil playing it on for Fern. And now arriving at the edge of the area is Kroll. And Fuller able to get down low and make the save. Lakes again in possession. What's well, fallen here for Mitch Bowman. And Mitch Bowman scores on the 10 minute mark to give the Lakes the early lead. Well, the ball pounced upon by Mitch Bowman. And he's able to squeeze it in at the near post. The chills looking for a comeback goal. Long range effort from Yule. And Gibson tips it over the bar. Let's grab a second look at that effort from Yule and the resulting save from Gibson. Had it comfortably worked out in the end, though. Free kick is left. Now it's Fern. Edge of the air is a bit of a goal mouse scramble. Mahanga tries to clear away, and they found a path to goal for the second, the Lakes. Eight minutes after scoring the first, they've doubled their lead thanks to Scott McNeil. Rich Hill's guilty of not being able to make an effective clearance out of their defensive area. And the Lakes now have a 2-0 lead. The kick to be taken by Mitch Bowman. Rises high for Fuller, who couldn't hold. He's trying to claim that there was some sort of issue there from the Lakes. Some interference. But the goal will stand, poked away by Scott McNeil. And the Lakes are doing it comfortably. 3-0 leaders. Three minutes from the half-time break. They'll need to pull one back here. Rich Hills, you'd figure, to try and keep themselves in this contest. The cross came in from Hunt, And Wilson couldn't deliver towards the target. Hunt steers it away from the defensive goal. Blackburn for the Lakes, however. Dancing his way into the box. Fuller comes off his line. Rich Hills scrambling to defend. And eventually, it's a relieving free kick. Long throw in into the box. Yule's there. Bit of rebound football into the hands of Gibson. Corner played in here by the visitors. And they found a goal. Rich Hills are going to make a contest of it. There's a player down on the background. It's Sean Yule, who is the goal scorer. Using his height. Yeah, he's just been cladded into his back there by Josh Blackburn. Popped a heavy knock, but the tall man rising to his feet again. 25 minutes to play. Way by Rulston. And Bowman is launched. Fuller! He's given away a free kick just outside the box, is it? Earns the yellow card. Oh, he made a good effort of that, Fuller, to make sure that Bowman wasn't going to have any further forward progress. Kellaway. Yule. Looks up. Yule. A low cross towards the back post. And Caleb Embry is going to bring some late life into this game for Rich Hills. Yule slides it past three defenders. And Embry awaiting unmarked at the far post. So 10 minutes to play. The momentum is with Rich Hills. Can they get back on level pegging? Oh, almost they can. not The metal work is disrupted by that shot from Caleb Embry. Still they come forward. 
Caleb Embry again. Yule is the target. And Gibson able to get to it second time round. So just playing it in the corner for possession. The Lakes, if they can hold it there. Surely a grand final berth is there for them. Might even find a goal at the end of it to make sure of it. So the Lakes will set up another meeting with their arch rivals, Brisbane Athletic with Chris Rulston scoring in stoppage time. Played on by Gribble. Little bit of a poke on the outside of the foot by Rulston. It's successful. Played by Adam Gaffel. Perhaps they can try and find something here. Gray across the face of goal. Would have made it tense and tight moments late in stoppage time. But the referee blows the full-time whistle. And it's the Lakes who will keep their 2018 season alive. Ridge Hills can prepare for next year. The Lakes, 4-2 winners in this preliminary final over Ridge Hills.